kingdom full of flowers and rainbows. Sun shone all the How's it going, my fuzzy family? And welcome to Dungeons 2. Right now we're going through an introduction. Sorry for interrupting. If you want to pause it to read it, by all means go ahead. But I didn't mean to interrupt it. But let's listen to it while it's going ahead. At the end of this path was a rock. There was a cave carved in this room in which the absolute evil was. It wasn't a grubby, damp cave smelling of muck and mildew, but a deep, dark dungeon. So dark that even darkness itself was afraid of it. It was home to numerous innocent monsters who enjoyed a happy, contented existence, living in complete harmony with their environment. And if you end up hearing some loud shouting in the background, that's Unicycle. <laughs> We're currently watching one of his most recent videos, so... Many monsters found this to be the death of them, but much worse, the absolute evil's treasures were being stolen. One day, just as a few more heroes had finished plundering its dungeon, the absolute evil decided it had had enough and decided to do something new, something quite monstrous. Man, I wonder how many times he's going to decide to do this. <clears throat> the Alliance tried to resist, but the approaching horde just flowed over them like an angry wave of axes, teeth, and bad breath. <sighs> After numerous bad unrelenting battles, the Absolute Evil finally stood before the Alliance's capital. King's Ending. Let's try this again. Bad breath. <laughs> I broken. I have one leg. No, it's not going to do it. Uh, so I dabbled with this game a little bit earlier and I tried to record it. But uh, some of my recording had to be cut short. Oh, combat. Forces of the absolute evil reach the alliance. Man, you guys aren't doing shit. With earth taking steps, the unstoppable evil began its trek towards the front. In the terribly improbable event that it may have forgotten how that works, a formidable help function has been <laughs> Destroy everything. Destroy it all. <laughs> yes, yes, failed my had entrenched themselves. A determined absolute evil march towards them and strike them down with its mighty weapon. Goodbye. The absolute evil had discovered a metal. These legendary wars ensure the creature could be made. It needs one more. Eyes of flames with greed. The insidious evil gazed upon the blood-drenched battlefield. Here, the last defenders of good would die, and an age of evil. <sighs> God, you guys suck. Projectiles from the Alliance's catapults darkened the sky, but the Horde's fighting skills were at their best in darkness, if they survived. Deal with my mace to your face. Mace to the face. Excuse you. On you. Excuse you. I'm just gonna walk over here. Oh, 
Absolute evil strode like a war god through the defenders' ranks and smote them with ease to the ground. I'm coming to mow you down. That's right. They won't be able to hold up much longer. Because they suck. No, ow. Bitch. Goodbye. Maha. This is just gonna march on forward. The city gate was firmly barricaded by the alliance's army, but the absolute evil would not allow itself to be held up by such Come ridiculous on. impediments. Excuse no. me. Go get them! Destroy them now! <laughs> the absolute evil used its all powerful magic to eliminate the archers and open the gates of the city. Using its legend of wait for it, there is. The absolute evil destroyed the environment and simultaneously eliminated a whole group of defenders. The road to the capital was now clear. The absolute evil did not hesitate for even one nanosecond. The insidious evil entered King's Ending. A small, pitiful group of defenders stood in its way. Suddenly, the doors of several houses in the city opened. The invincible evil had crushed the defenders. Yeah. The defending had been defeated. Uh oh. Uh oh. What the fuck is this shit? Suddenly, the final heroes of the I only paid a little bit. I didn't get very far. Now, this was becoming very boring. But wait, this time it was different. Instead. The heroes raised their hands and started singing an incomprehensible chant. A magical ritual? This did not well, actually, it both the rival of fiction, great things, unless you happen to be the absolute Victory! Yeah! <sighs> Somewhere in the depths of the dungeon, The last remaining heroes of the country joined forces and cast a powerful banishment spell. Uh, let's go on to the next part. Load faster. And the hand of terror arose, controlled by the ultimate evil. Hello. Come on, hand of terror. Arise, damn you. Exactly. Thank you, narrator. Methinks that exploring the surrounding area would be a sensible strategy. However, to do this, life <clears throat> would be required. Uh still not bright enough brighter an old oh god was revealed by the light the circumstances remained a mystery the hand of terror flew through the throne room following <sighs> each and every thought the ultimate evil had oh, yeah. After floating the flying sessions the ultimate evil was able to control the hand with ease the time had come to call forth creatures who were completely devoted to it and would do its dirty work. Little snots were the dregs of each and every dungeon and spent their time taking care of it. The expansion mad evil hired one snot on the spot. The first little snot appeared. It was completely ready to work in the dungeon and to crawl in the dust before the ultimate evil. 
Little snots were important to the ultimate evil because they took care of many important uh. such as excavating new areas. The psionically gifted evil could sense the presence of something important that was buried to the south. It instructed its little snots to dig in that direction. As quick as a fart, the little snot made its way to the As quick as a fart. Behold, the creatures of the overjoyed evil had apparently been much more industrious than it had thought. A great dungeon was revealed behind the wall. Everything was already in place. Doors, traps, a well-filled treasury. Oh wait, treasury? And where, if you please, is this treasury? Oh, oh well. One can't expect too much of these mindless little snots. First of all, some gold had to be dug out to make space for a treasury to be created. The Hand of Terror swiftly marked a few small gold veins so that the little snots could excavate them. But as soon as I didn't gold summon gold, anyone else. A little snot immediately set out to mine valuable gold for the greedy evil. I need more gold, I need more gold. Clean this out, please. My hand just looks lovely. I have more gold. Uh, uh, sure. Need to expand my dungeon. of terror quickly created a treasury on the spot so that the precious metal could be safely stored. The clever evil mastered this task with flying colors. From now on, little snots could use the treasury to store mined gold. It was then at the greedy evil's disposal whenever more rooms needed to be built or new creatures recruited. Little snots were all well good, <clears throat> but were too weak and cowardly to defend the dungeon. Since it was not able to defend itself, the ultimate evil would have to hire some orcs. But they would require food. Liquid food. Well, beer to be precise. So the next important thing to build was a brewery. And that would require some space to be created. The ultimate evil had the feeling that its servants were not really putting their backs into the work. Might a hearty slap from the hand of terror change that? The sadistic evil encouraged its creatures Work faster. To faster with a friendly but not at all gentle slap. That's right, bitches, work for me. You work faster. Updating something? And with quick finger snaps from the hand of huh? the ah. Excellent. But the recently built brewery lacked a brewing copper. With a sigh of resignation, the overworked evil set about taking care of that too. Yeah, lazy fox. Hard-working evils effortlessly built a brewing copper so that delicious beer could be brewed as soon as possible. One of the little snots started working on the brewing copper. The nostalgic evil banished all thoughts of Oktoberfest and brass bands. Oh. Those would have to wait. More important tasks had to be completed. Both oh, beer and gold sorry. are now available in the dungeon. 
So it was time to hire some people to defend against needy heroes uh -oh. or whatever else snuck around. <laughs> At present, it was only simple awe declaring undying loyalty to the ultimate evil. The rest of the hall was scattered to the wind. Scattered to the winds. Orcs were defensive close combat specialists, capable of dealing with many opponents. However, they were very vulnerable to invade the dust. <laughs> No. Yes. Oh. An eerie gong rang through the hall. It did not bode well for the ultimate evil's treasury stock. For at each sounding of the gong, the creatures would collect their undeserved wages. However, there was little it could do about this, as it was chained to the throne. Thus, it had to give free reign to its servants' desires. For the time being. Get to work for me. The dungeon of the expansion mad evil grew and prospered, but unfortunately, it had reached the maximum possible population it could currently manage. Now a creature would have to be thrown into the bottomless pit before any others could be brought in. The creature disappeared into the pit of uselessness with a long drawn and gradually diminishing. This particular act of witness brought a smile to the face of the ultimate evil. Look at my focus going. One of the repellent evil servants became very thirsty. This was typical of a troop member of the unanonymous alcoholics known as the Horde. The Dipso made his way to the nearest brewery to quench his thirst. A thirsty orc arrived at the brewery. Eager and slavering, he started demolishing the alcohol hoarding evil stock of beer. One louse in death huh? crawled out from the depth and declared uh... allegiance to the ultimate evil. The first step towards the creation of a powerful army had been taken. The profound evil had had enough of dungeon sightseeing and now wanted to move to the surface to try a dish that is best served cold. Revenge. Some alliance members were bound to be guarding the entrance to the overworld. A fine appetite for a vengeful evil. Alright, gentlemen. This has become the most treacherous task. Working on the abysmal evil used the hand of terror to grab several of the creatures that were still completely inexperienced at fighting and threw them onto the spider's nest. Let there be light. <laughs> the spiders drop like flies. The strategically well versed evil patted itself on the back, proud that it had led its troops into battle with such a force. I just simply mean chucking them at the end. The basics of a dungeon were now in place. However, the brewery was clean and didn't really have room to store beer barrels in, and the treasury was also anything but impressive in time. Quickly, the expansion was out to enlarge its dungeon. Work faster. Work, work. Mahaha. <laughs> the evil has awoken. 
But its brothers are still asleep. Huh? What on earth was that? That's not in my script. Probably is it. No matter. We better get back to concentrating on the dungeon. So we need to expand it a little bit more. The creatures of the ultimate evil suddenly developed a craving for chocolate. Chocolate. I can't give them chocolate. Oh. Would Sam and Frodo escape it and continue their journey to Mount Doom? Aww, or was this the end of the face. ring bearer? Hang on a minute, that's not yeah. <laughs> Oh yes, a human spider. Henceforth called the spider. It would be necessary to eliminate the spider queen before the horde could reach the surface. The spider queen sent forth a wave of her children. Of course. Oh. The ultimate evil was fully aware of this danger and immediately prepared to defend itself against it. That's what I have. Payday. Kill the bitch! Kill the spider bitch! Aw, oh, you dick! And another wave of spiders set out to destroy the ultimate evil. She could fight the horde. Later, Ooh, we killed it. Her innards made into a lava lamp. The way to the surface was open. Now it was time to put those vengeance plans into practice. The vile evil wanted to take this opportunity to utter a really sinister laugh. But unfortunately, its physical state made this unviable. Instead, it asked the narrator to do a bit of <laughs> force while breaking. <laughs> yeah. Once the ultimate evil had escaped from the depths, King Robert has to die. Good job, guys. We've made it so far. Yay. All right. Well, this is all the time that I have today for this episode. Just want to thank you so much for coming and checking it out. If you liked it, go ahead and give that like button a big old panda hug. And also, if you haven't joined the Fuzzy Family yet, go ahead and hit Tickle, Punch, Kiss, whatever you want to do to that subscribe button. Make sure it is PG and legal. And also, if you like this video, please leave a comment down below. If you disliked it, let me know what you disliked about it. Maybe we'll be able to go ahead and change it. So, until next time, my Fuzzy Family, I will see you in the next video. Peace out, my Fuzzy Family. Hello.